Painter 3 Pro video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to use vector layers and how to edit the vector layers and transform them. Now, first thing to do, first thing you really need is a layer and a new vector layer. That's the key thing. And once you've created that, you'll see that what happens is a little edit vector layer. Well, it's at this point, there's actually nothing to edit, so it's not going to work. I'm just using a mouse in this video, so I'm just going to just quickly apply just a very basic brush stroke, and you've got that design there. Now, at this point, you think, well, can't do anything, you can't edit it. Well, with the vectors, you can. So what you do, just quickly go over here, and tools, is that over here, tools, and just go to this point over here, edit vector layer. Click there, and you'll suddenly notice you've got a whole range of different options here. Edit vector layer, add and many more. What you can do then, you've actually, you can add and remove. You can also go here, group edit, curve transform and init curve transform. Now, this one, paint tool and edit tool. Well, it's not obviously so much a particular excitement there, but you can just modify that, just move that. That's just a standard feature. So you can just drag that around. You can see that you can modify the design and you can actually modify that. I've just, I'm using there, I've got fill that. All these settings over here are still interactive, so you can still modify them even while you're actually doing this. So if you decide, it's already a quite good way of actually discovering what sort of things, various things like chaos, what they actually mean. So you can actually just change that, reduce it down or increase it, and you can just see the end result or maybe center, just create that. So just very subtle changes of, of center, and right, you know, you can radically change the design. Just their speed, you can actually just change that. I'm actually going to push that out a bit further and go for center out there again and also focus out there. Now, what you can do, you can actually just drag that, you can drag points, but you can also just there add and remove. So you can click there, just go over there, and you can see a little minus appear. So you can just click that and remove it and just see obviously the, the actual brush, the actual flame disappears at that point. Again, you can go. Right, just go around the whole thing and if you click somewhere else you just click there you can see there's a plus so just click there and again you can click that click that and so on and so on. I think it's better to actually create a very very short sort of pass before you actually uh, start adding things because if you actually got something very complex you can see you've got a lot of points now you can just go obviously go through all that and just click 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 <laughs> remove them all like that I'm not going to do that so Next thing you, you can do, you can actually just go over here to Curve Transform, and that's quite nice as well. You can actually then just transform the curve. You can actually stretch out, make it much larger, and you can see you've got it like that. Or just there, just drag that around. You can also just obviously move the actual design, move it around, and you can rotate as well. Sometimes it doesn't actually seem to make much difference. Let's rotate that. Oh. There is a bit better. And also you can use this in its curve transform. Now that's not particularly so obvious what it does. You get this lovely little design here. Now this is obviously the, the core essential parts of the actual tool. You can modify that. You can again resign. You can see again that will change the design there. And you can actually just move it around. You see there's actually nothing you can particularly do with that. I'm just going to click on there and you see you can't actually modify that in it curve transform it's just a inbuilt design there so just drag that out there you have it a great way of creating and editing vector layers and it's like i say all these settings are still available so you can actually just go over here change the pasty maybe blending mode but a key thing also with this it's a layer so if you actually say vector layer so you can actually say duplicate layer I could do that. Also, you could just say new vector layer. So you can create a new vector layer. Again, go there and just quickly create a new one. And I'm just going to just create a very simple one. And I'm just going to go then to edit tool. And again, you can see now it's actually a lot less points. Much makes it much easier to manipulate personally. So you just drag that out. You can see by just dragging that out and see the lines of the flame just really smear out towards that direction. Again, just drag there. Again, you can see it just stretches in and stretches out depending on the actual where the point is, and that can be dragged over there. You can see that effect there. And again, it's all interactive, so you can actually turn around and just say, want to remove that down size, maybe increase the size, 
maybe change the color as well interactively and again it's all still live you can actually see that there see actually sometimes when you drag those it doesn't seem to make any difference so you can it obviously has no actual effect on it. it's that little point you can move that around you can see that point modify them there and again you can still go and add and remove just by going there just plus there or minus click that one get rid of that one and there right anyway that's a quick run through of vector layers in flame painter 3 pro hope you found this tutorial of interest i'm always adding new tutorials on the graphic extras video channel and also there's a graphic extras.com website where there's lots and lots of tutorials as well thank you much bye